I'm a visual artist based in America. And I work along the themes of biodiversity in green spaces, in public spaces, and the public as a, as an audience. So I was interested in creating a biodiversity garden in the city, along with some other people who had similar ideas. There was a lot of us working um, along the environmental themes in the city. So we had a kind of a gardening expert, an art, a visual artist, and a street artist. So the three of us had that interest in creating a, a nature space in the, gar in the city and creating a kind of a, a specific space for biodiversity. There's some lovely parks in the city already, but they're very well maintained and the grass is always cut really short and there's not that much wild space there. So we wanted to bring a space that was more about a wilderness that could also house events. So it was kind of a meeting of nature and culture and art. Actually, yeah, we had a lot of events there for the City of Culture. We worked closely with a woman who had a project called Limerick's Buzzing. She was all about bees, it was all about bees. So. The summer, the first summer that we planted the garden, it was alive. It was people were calling it the bee garden because mm. it was really positive in that sense. Um, so the feedback was was really positive in general, and people were very happy to hold events there. Mm. And there was some openings in there. There was film screenings in there. There was a really nice piano performance in there during the summer. So it kind of worked in the sense that people were able to use it as an outdoor space for mm. events that would normally have been indoors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The garden came a bit later. Yeah, the right. murals were there maybe a year and a half before. Okay. Yeah, they're separate, separate projects in the same space. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they do feed off each other. I think they work quite yeah. well together. Like yeah. the garden was built sensitively towards the murals, mm -hmm. but the murals were there first. The murals were there in, in it as a derelict space.